Hello, in today's video, I will present you the chainsaw, the Steel MS231. That chainsaw from Steel is not the most powerful one, it's not the smallest one either. It's uh, medium range, okay? The engine that we got on it is an engine of 42.6 uh, cubic uh, centimeter, and the weight uh, empty uh, of his liquid is 4.8 kilo. Okay, the the bar that comes with it uh, is a bar of uh, 40 centimeters, but it's possible to change it for uh, 45 centimeters. Huh? Uh, what more to say on a machine? Well, just like any chainsaw, uh, we've got a uh, way to fill the gasoline, uh, the petrol and the oil for the bar. Now, of course, the, uh, the very nice concept that steel has is uh, the, the cap. Uh, we just open it like that and we do a quarter turn and it opens. Uh, it's a it's very nice system. Uh, it's not because uh, on some chain so you have to screw it or you have to use a screwdriver. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, this is absolutely brilliant. Okay. Uh, that machine doesn't have a pump to prime it uh, like some uh, like some chainsaws. And uh, to start it, uh, we use uh, that button. So when it's cold, like now, uh, we. We just put it right at the bottom, so that's the starter, the cold starter. Okay. Uh, if the machine has uh, ran a little bit, you can put it on warm starter. And the other one is just the normal run. Okay. Now to stop it, we put it up, and that's it. Yeah, really. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna show you how to access the air filter, and how we're gonna uh, tense uh, the the chain as well. To get access to the air filter and the spark plug, we will need to remove that cap, huh, which is held by three screws here. So uh, you will need a, a, a torque uh, spanner huh, for that. So we just unscrew it. Alors, one thing for the cap to go uh, easier, I suggest that you've got the lever, you know, from the from the chainsaw at the at the at the bottom. Okay, it's much easier. Okay, done, and now we can lift it up. Here we go. Okay, so here now you got the spark plug. Eh? If you need to uh, remove it or if you need to clean it, etc. And here you've got the uh, air filter. As you can see, it's very dirty. Uh, I will do a video one of these days uh, on how to clean the machine uh, perfectly well. Okay, so the air filter, same thing, very easy to remove. We just give a slight turn on the left and it comes out. Okay. Very easy. Uh, <clears throat> this, for instance, I clean it with uh, a compressor. Uh, it goes very well. Uh, that's it. So now, to place it back, make sure you've got this at the bottom as well. Okay, and we place back the cover, and we tighten up. Uh, now, don't tighten like uh, with brute force. There's no need. Uh, you may just ruin everything. Okay. So what I do, I just tied up like that and after I just give it a, a small turn okay anyway um, any person using a, a, a chainsaw will revise it before to use it in, in any case eh? so always just make sure it's tightened okay I will show you now the uh, the chain so now let's talk uh, a little bit about the chain okay as you can see it's uh, it's loose huh? uh, so this is something you have to check quite often huh? uh, because very often it, it will move huh? uh, so in order to tense it uh, we will just loosen this there we go and now we can tighten uh, the, with a flat screwdriver we go inside and we tighten it so usually the good tension for the the chain will be if you see approximately four teeth let me see see here there's too much still okay okay here we we more or less good okay so when you see that then you tighten again Okay, 
okay so now now we okay okay the chain that I've got on this as well uh, it's not the regular one okay the uh, the normal chain that's given with it it's the one that you that that you will um, file okay uh, but I've quickly realized that uh, I waste my time I waste uh, fuel uh, I waste everything <laughs> so basically I've got now uh, the chain that they sell it's called uh, Duro and this one is like um, it's a very hard steel okay so this one there's no need to file it uh, I usually buy it and I keep it for one year and and after I change it but uh, in one year I give it a very good uh, use of it so I'm very very pleased it always cut perfectly yeah? um, so the normal chain for this machine cost me about uh, 30 euro uh, that chain costs 60 so it's double but uh, trust me it's uh, it's well well worth it okay so now let's start the machine how we start the machine well first we place the brake okay that way the the machine is safe okay and now uh, as i told you before this we're gonna place it completely down okay that's the cold starter then we're gonna pull the machine once the machine will start to cough a little bit we're gonna raise it uh, one and then normally the machine should start and then as, as soon as you press this you see it will come to its normal position okay Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope that you have liked the video and we'll see each other in the next one. Ciao!